Hi, I will tell you about the Global Cooling Prize, uh, which is very exciting because it sets out to improve the energy efficiency of the uh, split air pump units uh, by a factor of five and to make these uh, split air pumps uh, commercially available to the mass market. So let me show you some of the information on the Global Cooling Prize website, uh, where they do a great job of showing uh, what is the problem we are facing. Uh, so basically, uh, there's a huge growth in air conditioning use globally. And the problem is that even the most efficient air condition on the market at the moment uh, only has an efficiency of 40, 14%. So that means uh, only 14% of the maximum theoretical efficiency is achieved at the moment. So therefore, there's a huge potential for improving the energy efficiency of air conditioners. Um, and the solution is, of course, then to uh, the price says you have to be able to improve the energy efficiency uh, substantially. And, and the winner of this global cooling prize will win uh, prize money of uh, 3 million US dollars. Um, and, of course, uh, stand to earn a lot of money from this technology being adopted on the mass market. Uh, the impact of just improving energy efficiency of air conditioners uh, is huge. So in terms of global warming, uh, it can help to uh, reduce the warming that we are facing by half a degree. Um, and also in terms of energy savings, um, it corresponds to saving the whole energy consumption in Europe uh, two times over. Uh, so. It's really huge quantities of energy we are talking about here. Um, so the, this big improvement in energy efficiency is based on a baseline air conditioning unit, uh, which has a COP, uh, sort of an efficiency or coefficient of performance of 3.5. Uh, it's also called an energy efficiency ratio. Um, and it's also based on an aircon that is using the R22 refrigerant, uh, which has some global warming uh, potential. Uh, because actually, this price doesn't just focus on energy efficiency, even though that's the most important thing, but it also uh, factors in the uh, climate uh, change uh, that is caused by the refrigerant. So the base uh, air conditioning unit uh, is installed in India in a 90 square meter apartment unit uh, where it ensures that you always have 27 uh, degrees in the room and a relative humidity of 60%. And that gives uh, annual electricity consumption of about 3000 kilowatt hours per year. So this is what has to uh, be reduced by a factor of five uh, under this global cooling price. So the criterion to meet uh, is listed here. Um, and I've talked about some of these already, um, but one of the criterion is affordability. So that means uh, the winning solution cannot be more than two times the price of uh, what a typical air conditioning unit costs uh, on the market today. Um, it also um, uh, allows uh, for water to be used as uh, for cooling purposes, uh, but it caps it. So on average, you cannot use more than 14 liters of water per day uh, on average over the whole year. Uh, and certain days, you probably don't need to use water. So you're allowed on any given day to uh, use up to 28 liters uh, without uh, breaking the first criterion. Um, other, other criterion uh, include uh, scalability. So the aircon has to be uh, easy to install in existing homes uh, and should also be able to be uh, manufactured uh, easily. Um, and let me go to the next slide, which has to do with the timeline. Um, so, so this global cooling price was launched in uh, November 2018 by Richard Branson, who is the uh, ambassador for this prize. Uh, and the first real deadline uh, was in uh, 2019, 
where you had to submit the detailed technical application. And uh, my company, IN, we actually submitted uh, one of these um, applications. And we were actually only uh, one of the 139 uh, parties that submitted, so not that many uh, globally. Despite a, a big interest in the beginning, uh, it when, when it came to crunch time and actually submitting an application, it was only done by 139 uh, people in the world, most of which came from the US and India. We uh, collaborated with uh, our good friend Martin Zuckermeyer from Germany, um, and our detailed technical submission was one uh, out of just two from Malaysia. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't uh, make it among the eight finalists, but we were very pleased to see that our uh, concept uh, was very close or very similar to three of the finalists. So as far as I'm concerned, we might as well have been among the uh, finalists. Um, and the next stage uh, was then the prototype testing. So each of these finalists were given 200,000 US dollars uh, to uh, produce two prototypes, uh, which were all sent to India, where three uh, prototype tests were done. Two were laboratory tests, and uh, one was a field test. So this shows the uh, 31 days of measured prototype uh, testing. And what I did is I made screen dumps of each day and put them in this time-lapse loop so you can uh, more easily get an overview of uh, all the testing that was done. Um, the key thing to look out for on this chart is the vertical blue line at the 20% mark because that shows uh, the criterion on this uh, five times lower climate impact that the uh, prototypes have to meet. Uh, and that loosely translates into being five times more energy efficient as well. Um, you will notice that at the bottom of the chart, there's three, uh, three of the eight uh, finalists uh, have no data. And that's because uh, two of the prototypes uh, simply didn't meet the installation deadline. Uh, and one of the prototypes uh, seem to have an operational issue. So these three are out of contention. Uh, at the top of the chart, uh, you see um, the five prototypes that are uh, in contention. And the best performing one of those is Team uh, Polar. Uh, it is much lower than the 20% line most of the time. I would say it's probably about 10 times more energy efficient than the than a standard air conditioner. And also the bar uh, is always white color. So that means it always meets the indoor conditions, which is to cool the indoor space to uh, 27 degrees Celsius or lower and to uh, dehumidify uh, to achieve 60% relative humidity or lower. Uh, some of the other uh, ones, the bar turns gray once in a while, uh, and that means that they don't meet uh, those uh, criterion. So it will be really interesting to uh, see next month in March 2021, uh, when the winner of the Global Cooling Prize is announced, and to see this uh, five times more efficient uh, air conditioner hit the mass market. Um, Currently, there's 1.2 billion split air cons in the world, and this will grow a lot, uh, namely to 4.5 billion split air cons uh, over the next 30 years. So pushing energy efficiency uh, to the limit uh, in the air conditioning field is uh, very important. And in general, energy efficiency is the cornerstone of sustainable development. This is where we start, and then the remainder uh, of the energy demand will then have to be covered by renewable energy. So this is very exciting. Let's see what happens next month.